we're gonna. You need to come forward, or no one's gonna see you. Oh, I, I can see me. Yeah, but <laughs> get over here. <laughs> it's like go. I'm gonna start this way too. It's I'm a good not, thing we didn't I'm, get Bill in here too. Uh, you know? it would, it would not because <laughs> he's have, tall. It would not have happened. Yeah. Well, this is a fun one. Hey, everybody. I'm Kelly Orchard, uh, the Badass Certifier, and this is Mustang Monday. Badass tips from the street, and I invited. This is George Mills from A Better Look Home Inspection. Home Inspection, and Ben Dietrich from Lofts of Benjamin Dietrich. We are here today to talk about what are we, you know, we're going to do a badass tip. I invited George and Ben a, a while ago to, and this is a new new rhyme that we have going to hop in the seat and give a badass tip from the street. And cool. George and I were just having a conversation about customer service. And so we'll start there and we'll see where this goes. How's Very that? Very good. All right. So well, I want to, I want to know from you. Okay. So, so you do home inspections. Correct. And you're also on the board of a local chamber of commerce. I am the current chairman of the board for the Menifee Valley Chamber of Commerce. And you're on that same chamber board, right? I'm, I'm the vice chair of the Menifee Valley Chamber of Commerce. So you guys are like freaking frack of, we, frack we, yeah. of Menifee. I, I told George we do pretty much everything <laughs> so you guys, as a team. Yeah. So, so you might as well, well do, do this, this together yeah, too. Yeah, Got yeah. it. Okay. So now we want to talk about customer service. So. Well, customer service is critical. You know, we're all in service industries and it really doesn't matter what business you're in. Um, we all have customers and, you know, a lot of times we think that you own a business, you can do what you want, but really just because you own a business, you still have clients that are paying your bill. And so one thing that we all believe in and we all hear all the time mm -hmm. is the customer is always right. right. Well, that's, that's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. And, and sometimes, uh, it started with you talking about, uh, you know, a service industry that your son's a part of. Um, how mean some customers can actually be to, say, weight help or right. um, those types yeah. of things. And so the customer uh, is not always right, but they are still the customer. Yeah. And I think that's forgotten sometimes. Yes, I, I agree. And what we, were, what we were discussing, and I want to kind of clarify, is we were all at a lunch together, and the waiting to get our tickets was pretty long but it didn't have anything to do it wasn't the restaurant's fault a lot of us came in at one time and we're all business people and we all want to leave at the same time yep. and getting the tickets was it was just cumbersome there was there was like a funnel clog that yep. went on and so we were just talking about what we what we needed to get done and then it was like customers always right and I was sharing with him because my son works he's a kitchen manager at a major restaurant and he has shared the the issues that people even though they're not right necessarily you still treat them well Right. You know, but how how else do you combat that? You know, with the field that you're in, and even you, gosh, with you, we'll get to you in a second. Well, I think for <laughs> me, it, it's um, by being a small business and owning my own business, I can pick and choose who I That's work exactly for. Exactly what I That's was going to say. Yeah. And so right. um, we have just recently uh, told a client that we've done a lot of work for in the past, who is very difficult to work for. Um, you know, please don't call us anymore. It's not worth the grief. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, even though, um, you know, she uh, put bread on my table, um, mm -hmm. sometimes it wouldn't hurt me to miss a meal. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, this particular person, we just said, you know, hey, I think it's better that we part ways. Um, you know, it, it is a, a customer service industry and it, it is difficult at times, um, but you still have that, uh, mutual respect that we try to have mm -hmm. towards our customers and towards our real estate agents that we work with and um, but it, it sometimes you just have to say I'm not gonna let you treat me like that good yeah have that confidence to and that that self-esteem to stand up for yourself and yeah. say no that's not gonna happen yeah. yeah I know I've had to do that in different capacities as well and it's not easy to do you know, no, it's, it really yeah. isn't because you, you think that there might be repeat business if you can just train this customer to treat Correct. you right, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It, yeah. And so what about you? I want to hear from you about this whole customer service yeah, thing. Yeah. I mean, I just want to repeat on what George <laughs> said. That was exactly my thought is one of the biggest benefits of being a business owner is the fact that you don't have to work for everybody. Right. right? You can fire and a you client. Can, you can fire a client if need be. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's usually few and far between, yeah. but sometimes it reaches that point as George pointed out where you just need to do that. I think the biggest thing probably is being authentic, being empathetic, understanding what's going on, but some people you just mm -hmm. can't work with, right? So yeah. knowing that, maybe there's somebody else that will, that will work better with them yeah. and send them on their way because life's just too short to, right. to do that, to <laughs> well, deal with that. You know, it's like, I don't know how much you guys know about my previous world, but um, I've got, you know, a 40 year background in radio. 
And so one of the one of the greatest things that we would always tell listeners who would call up and complain about a song is um, you can always change the station. <laughs> right. you know, it's like, right. I'm sorry if you don't like our music, but you don't have to listen to it. And I think it's that way with any kind of business. If you don't like doing business with them, or if you're going to be a difficult client, maybe it's time for you to take your business elsewhere. Right. Right. I mean, it, it goes both ways. It's like, we want to do good customer service, all of us do, in the fields that we're in, but we also want good customers. So how about you go be a good customer? And I've been you on know? both sides of that. I remember yeah. years ago, I had a large pool company, and I thought I was really the cat's meow, and I made a lot of money, and I made a lot of deposits, and I remember a, a successful bank manager. So I just remember really thinking I had arrived, and I was successful, and I was making large deposits into this bank. and. And I think my youth and my arrogance, I went in and thought I was more than I was. And this particular bank manager told me, you know, there are other banks. Mm. And uh, that was really my first taste of being um, It's good to be so busy that you, reminded, get, a, you get a phone call reminded. and you don't even stop and you're recording. And he just, he's like, I'm just going to answer my call. Hello. Yeah, we're live right now, George. <laughs> and, and, uh, we're not really. You know, <laughs> well, that's a client I am going to call back. Because we so, love that customer. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> they right. They call when they say they're going to call. And, and so... Um, but you know, it, it, it works both ways. It does. And, and you know, and the thing I think the lesson that you're you're talking about, you learned a lesson there. Right. When that bank said, you know, there there are other places that you can go to deposit your money. I I, I think we can all say that in our youth we were a little guilty sure. of you know, bad business practices or not knowing. I think that's part of the leadership challenge is to you grow through it. That's kinda of what I do is pr promote the perpetual growth. It's a nice so, reality check, doesn't yeah. it? Oh yeah. <laughs> and and we all need that now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, even you know, at my age today, it's still nice to have somebody who can can say, hey, you're out of line here. Yeah. You know, and, and luckily I've surrounded myself with some good people and I've given permission to people mm -hmm. to call me on certain things and to say, you know what, um, we like what you're doing here, mm -hmm. but you might want to look at these areas of your life or yeah. your business or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And I think we all need mentors and we all need... Um, you know that accountability yeah we all need to invest in our personal and professional growth for Absolutely. sure and that's that's what i yeah. do i'm like the person you invest with but um when we were talking about doing this we there was like there was the whole like i'm the badass you're the smart ass and you're the what is he? He wasn't there. I don't think I was the dumbass. <laughs> uh, is that what it was? Well, we were having um, name for him because yeah, yeah, he wasn't yeah, there, right? Yeah, I don't know which way. To, you know, there's a whole bunch of them. You, know, whole you, bunch got, of you got lazy you can, ass, yeah. you've got dumb ass, smart ass. Yeah, but I'm the know. badass. I'm yeah, the official yeah. badass. The, the only one. The only one who can say who, that. Who's licensed to be yes, badass. Yes, I am licensed. I created the whole program of licensed to be badass. I love so. it. Yeah. So what else are we, we going to talk about? Because I know I kind of threw you under the bus with saying I want to talk about customer service. You guys must have had ideas. Well, I think Ben and I being part of the Chamber of, of Menifee and mm -hmm. seeing the turnaround up there and the growth, uh, not only in the city of Menifee, but the growth of the Chamber, um, I know both of us are real excited about that. Um, there's so much positive going on uh, just within the Chamber itself. Well, tell um, me more. You know, so tell me, how how big, you know, this the Mustang Monday videos goes out to all my social media and they're not all just people, local community. So when we're talking about the city of Murrieta or city of Menifee, how large of a community is it? What's the population? I think we're just over 90,000 people okay. now. Okay. Uh, I think in the next two to three years, we're slated to be like 110, so 110,000. So when you talk about becoming involved with the Chamber of Commerce as a business person, whether you're an owner or you're just an employee, what would you guys say is your, the, your biggest benefit? I think... Um, learning how to network is the biggest benefit. You know, when I owned a big pool company, um, chambers would call me and they say, you know, uh, we want you to come in and based on the size of your business is how most people price out the chamber. And I said, well, let me get this straight. I'm gonna give you 500 bucks and you're gonna give me a plaque that I can buy for $10. I don't really see the trade off here. And it wasn't until the turnaround of the economy in 2008 and I had to learn to network and do different things that I really saw the value of a chamber. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a dollar amount you put in it and it's directly proportionate to you get out of it what you put into it. Yeah. And once I got plugged in and involved and uh, the Murrieta Chamber is really where I started. Yeah. And I've been a member there for seven years and, and up into Menifee. Um, now I see the value of networking and how it works. And, um, you know, it's much more than just, 
you know, hey, you need a plumber? Here's his name and number. Mm -hmm. it's, it's building friendships, relationships. Ben's, you know, daughter Cammy is really one of the best friends of my granddaughter. We're finding how, you know, mm -hmm. that no six, you guys are freaking six, friends. Six, <laughs> six degrees of separation yeah, exactly. really does exist. Yeah. And so, um, but that's the, the, the value of the chamber is really um, getting your business out there. But it's really more, um, I have a motto and I stole it from Sam Parker who is inspire.com or whatever his thing is. But it's, I'm really here to make good things happen for other people. Mm -hmm. And once I embrace that, just the laws of, you know, the world is mm -hmm. what goes around comes around. Yeah, karma. And if yeah. you, you're doing good things out there for people, it's mm -hmm. not about going to a chamber mixer and going, okay, what can I get out of this? Mm -hmm. It's about what you can get mm -hmm. and give to it more yeah. than get. Well, I learned, you know, it's like, it's like I, I've been involved in different communities and had to, had to basically reestablish myself multiple times just because of moves or career change or whatever. Right. And, and I learned early on, you know, way back in my twenties, actually my teens, the benefits of being involved in your community, whether it's the chamber or it's a rotary club or it's a church group or whatever, because it gets you involved. It gets you involved. Number the social Socialization, because come on, after you get out of college or high school, it's really hard to make friends. Sure. So when you're new in a community, the best place to do go is join something. Right. right. You know, and so uh, the benefits of networking are definitely, uh, you know, it's like not even just for to build your business, but just to get yourself plugged in. You know, so that when you need like upholstery, like I do here, it's like you know who to call. You know, to call, exactly. you know it's right. like when when you need your home inspected, you know who to call. When you have a legal question, you know somebody, right. and it's not a total stranger. Right. You know, so not just a cold call. Not just a Google cold call. That anybody yeah, because I think right. that likely you'd be you'd be answering my call before some stranger. Well, right. maybe not. Maybe, you know. <laughs> well, if you think if you <laughs> think of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. If you think of things like Yelp. Yeah. You know, can you really trust a Yelp review? Yeah, uh, maybe some, maybe not. Um, but if somebody calls you and says, hey, you know, I, I want to establish this trust. I bought a house and I'm doing this, this, and this. And you have a personal relationship with the attorney who does trust. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah, you need to call this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, I would much rather have that personal referral yeah. than a Yelp review or right. a Google. Because I have some Yelp reviews right now. I don't even know who these people are. I don't think they're clients. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the, the scary part. Yeah, yeah. and so yeah, at anonymity of uh, right. those online of the keyboard. Reviews, right? Yeah. yeah, and so I would much rather have somebody with a personal touch mm -hmm. and say, "Hey, this is this is the guy I call." Even if they charge a little more, huh? It's not I'm always a, about the bargain. I mean, it's yeah. like I always I have a philosophy: you get what you pay for. Yeah. So if you're out there searching, searching for a bargain, searching for the the bottom basement of the barrel, if that's the kind of service that's you get. That's what you're going to get. It's, right. it's, it's there get. if you want it. Well, yeah, because they don't value themselves either. Right. right. You know, let me do a whole like workshop on raise your rates. You know, right. if, you're, if you're any good. Yeah. You know. And you know, when I first started, um, uh, a gentleman of uh, took gave me this advice: you're, you're worth what you're worth. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, he was a realtor and he says, I don't lower my commission level. Mm -hmm. This is the value I bring to it. Yeah. You're, and he said, George, don't do it. Yeah. Um, it's my, hard when you're hungry. It is hard when you're hungry. It, it really it, is. I, no, there's no doubt. It's important to learn that when yes. you're hungry though. Well, yeah. yeah. I, 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 my first sales, my first sales training was, was honestly by my dad. You know, it's like we had a family radio station and he'd done real estate sales. He was a real estate broker at the time. So he knew the sales process. Right. So he was my first trainer, you know, at, at the age of like 15 or 16 in sales. And so I remember walking into places and he would give the whole, you know, presentation or whatever. And they would say, how much is this going to cost? And he'd say, well, how much do you have? You know, and that was the answer. It's like, how much you got? What do you got in your wallet right now? Let's do it. You know, it's, it was just that quick, you know? So that is, that's a really good thing. You're worth what you're worth. Right. So what do you think you're worth? I were, I'm, how much do you have on right. you? <laughs> you know? And I know, you know, I know what Ben brings to the table. I know what mm -hmm. I bring to the table. You know what you bring to the table. Mm -hmm. And, and I just don't think if you believe in yourself, you can sell. You're really selling yourself. You're not mm -hmm. selling your service. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. selling yourself. Well, it is all about relationships. And yeah. like you said, if you bring the authenticity and the empathy to what you do, yep. no matter what it is, you're going to be successful because those people are going to be attracted exactly. to your to you. Right. Getting back to the customer service again. Yep. Yeah. We tied that all together well, nicely, yeah, didn't we? Nice exactly. right. Woo, yeah, so, okay. You know, while I was in there for yeah. lunch, I got a call from a client. Hey, I need that person that cleans pools and I need this mm -hmm. and so the relationship we built he trusts me to refer him somebody yeah. over for his new home that he just closed escrow on right 
and you know, I like that. Isn't that a great feeling? I think, I think that's one of my favorite things to do is to be able to connect people. people right. Yeah. right. I love that's that. Like, I think that's know? one of the yeah. greatest benefits of being involved in the community I agree. is having those resources right. and being able to be a connector like yeah, that. Definitely. Absolutely. And people remember that. They, yeah, they do. They do. And then and they appreciate you know, like both uh, on both ways. It's like I remember when somebody refers me, but yeah. I also when I refer somebody else and they thank me for mm, referring yeah, them. Right, right. You know, it's like I so appreciate that. I had a I had a, a card that sent to me thanking me for a referral today and said I have more for you. This was a person who forgot that I'm also a licensed psychotherapist and thought I just and was just only focused on the badass stuff. And and when I told him I sent a client to him, he was like, Why would she send a badass to me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like and then he had to realize, oh, oh. you're a therapist right. I forgot about that yeah. you know so oh, I was funny. really appreciative that you know, it's like oh yeah you're that too well so. I think there's another thing we forget in customer service is uh, not forgetting to say thank you yes you know you, mm -hmm. you said a thank you card I send out thank you cards um, you know you can shoot a text you can shoot an email but there's nothing better than getting something than getting in a the card mail. that somebody went it's out of true. their way right. you know no we don't lick stamps anymore but you still have to put a stamp on it you have it. to write the address and, uh, on the envelope yeah. i learned something that that kids these days like high school kids they don't even know how to address an envelope because Absolutely. we don't do that anymore they don't do that anymore well right? my my yeah. first secretary put the stamp on the back side <laughs> <laughs> you know so in her youth she didn't know which way it went so yeah well uh, once upon a time we used to have to wait until our favorite song came on the radio to hear it too yeah, you, know, yeah. you know it's like getting back to you know, getting like that he's like yeah lots of things have changed all right well i've got ben and george thank you guys so much thank for you. doing thank this you. with me great. it was totally no, fun no, no. we have a tagline that we say and i don't know if you if you know so i'm just gonna guide you through it i'm swear i'm gonna have to put a script here right, one of these right. days <laughs> but it's like so i am kelly orchard the badass certifier reminding you and these guys are gonna say it with me to be bold be bold. Be brave. Be brave. Be confident. Be confident. I'll say it with me. Be badass. Be badass. Yeah, absolutely.